Despite living in the tropics, our water supply isn't endless. Our growing population, dry season and changing climate all put pressure on our supply. For our own sakes and the sake of all the things that make our region great, including our rainforests, our rivers and our reef, it's important that we look after our water. There are two key areas of water management. Our source or potable water, the water we use for drinking, cooking, showering and in the laundry and toilet. And our wastewater, that is the water that goes down our drain. Source or potable water management includes supply, treatment, storage and consumption, while wastewater management is about treatment, recycled water and discharged water. Let's start with our source or potable water, where we get our supply, how we treat and store it and how we can consume it wisely. The largest source of fresh water for the Cairns region is Lake Morris, which holds over 37,000 megalitres of water almost 15,000 Olympic swimming pools. This water is held by the Copperload Falls Dam wall, which is 45 metres high and 122 metres long. Fresh water is also collected from Bahana Creek and a number of smaller rural intakes, such as Fishery Falls and Frenchman's Creek. Before this water is supplied to our homes, it has to be treated. This is done at the Tunnel Hill Water Treatment Plant, located below the dam in Brinsmead. This treatment removes microorganisms and other risks to the health of our community. The treated water is then pumped to water storage reservoirs at various locations around our region. These reservoirs then supply the water we consume in our homes, hospitals, schools and the many, many other community places that all rely on fresh, clean water. How this water is used around our homes is particularly important. If we waste it, we put pressure on our supply, driving up the cost to our community and our environment. The good news is we can all do simple things to use our water wisely. Don't hose the driveway, use a broom. Stick to your watering times and don't water the lawn in the midday sun. Don't shower for too long and don't let the tap run when you clean your teeth and try to put full loads in your washing machine. You can find out more about using water wisely at this website. Now, what happens to the water that goes down our drains? Our wastewater. As our communities grow, how we manage so-called wastewater is vital. For instance, the production of high quality recycled water for use around the home and outdoors reduces the demand for drinkable water. Cleaner wastewater also takes pressure off our environment and being so close to the reef, rainforests and wetlands makes wastewater treatment critical. There are six wastewater treatment plants for our region, four of which were upgraded in 2009 to meet the demands of the Cleaner Seas project. The aim of this project is to reduce any environmental impacts from our wastewater discharge on our marine environment. The three largest wastewater treatment plants are the Marlin Coast, Southern and Northern. The Southern and Northern plants use world-leading membrane filter technology to produce exceptionally clean wastewater. So after our wastewater is treated and tested, how can we use it? Well, the answer is lots of ways. It can be recycled to irrigate our public gardens and parks and our golf courses as well as being delivered back to our homes for use in toilets or garden taps. Of course, as the demand for clean water grows, recycled water becomes a more and more valuable commodity, to the point where in the future, using recycled water for non-drinking purposes may be a way of life for all of us. And of course, the more recycled water we use, the more drinking water we save, and the less wastewater we send or discharge to the reef. It's important that the water we do discharge has minimal impact on our marine environment. The Cleaner Seas project is helping to improve the quality of this discharge by up to 80%. So that's our water story, and it's an important story, because how we supply, treat, store and consume our water, and how we manage our wastewater, makes a big difference to our community and our environment. Remember, there's no place like our place, so let's use water wisely and help keep it that way.